Ma, ya le llego, ¿no? He escuchado. Uh, let's walk a little bit faster. <laughs> There it is. You see it? White nose go out. This is our second mammal today. Classes on Blythe trips are one of the best things you will ever do in your entire life. But this is all the Circus Maximus right here. So what would happen here, that's the middle area right there, you would have the chariot races. And the chariot races would start at one end, they go all the way around, and you have to do it seven times around this loop. I feel so much more excited about my course material because I'm seeing everything, experiencing it, and it's like living in history exactly in the course. I can see how everything was, and I can relate to the people as I'm learning about them. So this means the start of one of the largest, longest last, the most influential empires to ever exist started here on the Palatine Hill 2,764 years ago. Actually being able to experience and see and feel what you're learning is a lot better than just picturing everything in your mind. Put your hand right there and squish it and you will see how much water such a small piece of moss can hold. So imagine how much water that the whole forest, the entire forest, it will retain. It's really a whole trip based on experiential learning. And in 1969, tragically, uh, a protester decided to set himself on fire. Uh, in this square. When you're constantly active and hands-on, things really sink in. Imagine the glacier is like a brand new tube of toothpaste. If you push your fist on it, it spits out the toothpaste. Well, that's what's happening at the top. All that weight is pushing down and it's spitting out the glacier down the hill and down the valley. Here you gotta go out and actually have class outside instead of inside. It's pretty wicked. Et vous voyez, pour la première fois, tout entière, Ah, in, in it as a whole, La Tour Eiffel. Classes here are very challenging, but it's in a good way, not a bad way. The biggest thing that I've gained from this trip is a new passion for learning. We talk about it, we analyze it, we discuss it, we have an opinion about it. Now the weird thing is, is that poetry is supposed to be felt first and analyzed later. It's supposed to be heard and then read. They actually spend their time trying to focus on you and your learning and how you learn. It's very open, like we have a lot of discussions in the class. You moved to Paris, why? Because you wanted to fall in love. Just fall in love, right? He's one of those people that like love. He's like Ted Mosby. <laughs> Who? Ted Mosby. Who's Ted Mosby? From How I Met Your Mother. You get into the lessons more and you, you really contribute and you, uh, it's not because you're forced to, it's because you want to. We're, we're reading with Oscar Wilde. <laughs> One of the greatest writers of all time. He's buried in Paris. And you're throwing out some How I Met Your Mother at me? <laughs> How you made that connection, I give you mad props. <laughs> mad props. I think it's a perfect learning experience here, and I think I'm doing a lot better than I usually would. I want to thank you for being really respectful in the hotels. Checked in with the managers. They're not complaining at all about noise. Every program has a program manager. They're responsible for managing logistics and getting the group from point A to point B. They're also the point of contact for the parents, as well as act as a disciplinary on site. Tomorrow morning, we need to be out of our rooms by eight o'clock. Your bags are packed. What you're gonna do is drop them off at the front desk area and then come on down for breakfast. It's our job to try to make sure that the trip runs smoothly. Most importantly, we want to make sure that everyone's safe. For your own sake, if anything happens, you're going in a group, you're going on the metros, and for some strange reason you fall asleep and forget where you're going, and everyone else gets off the Spanish steps, the best thing to do is you just get off at the next stop and you come back to where we're waiting. This trip is just an unreal experience. <laughs> knowledge that gets crammed into here, it's not just from the school, it's from, you know, walking around the towns, it's from doing this kind of thing. Keep your eyes peeled for all the different arts, the sculptures, it's everywhere. Did you notice what was at the top of the stairs when we walked past? It's like a building. Building? There was a building. There I can see another building, building here. Yeah. Maybe there was a big column at the top. Did you not see it? Maybe. It was an obelisk. You know what an obelisk is? They're from Egypt. The Romans brought them over 2,000 years ago. You get to travel around the world and see things that you're never going to see in your lifetime and experience new things and food and people. They'll have uh, two 
Spazini Sir. Rajis, how do you say that? Is that Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Got it. So you just do a lot of stuff here that you wouldn't be able to do at home. It's really a once in a lifetime experience. We see so much and there's so many different things that we get to do that it's like mind blowing for a lot of us. We're in Aegina. Aegina in Greece. And we're having an awesome time. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. It's uh, the most fun I've had in a long, long time. Every day it's something different and every day you're learning something new and like broadening your horizons, doing things you wouldn't normally do, like going out of your comfort zone and it's just every day something different and every day so exciting. Today I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to lay in my bed. Don't feel like picking up my phone to leave a message at the tone. Yes, I did come on my own uh, both years, didn't know anybody, and I ended up making friends within the first few days. It's really easy on these trips. I came on this trip uh, sort of knowing one person, and now I've been able to meet, you know, 55 people and be friends with 55 people. I could say I can make lifetime friends here. I was nervous about meeting new people, but once I met them, it was just almost like a breeze meeting the rest. Because <laughs> I haven't really had to make friends since kindergarten. So coming here as a, a grade 12 student and meeting 60 new people and making friends again is kind of uh, my social skills are getting better. So on this trip, a typical day would be wake up for breakfast, um, get a quick bite to eat, and then right to class. Um, in the afternoons, there's always different activities that you can do, whether it's an optional excursion or activities that the activities coordinators plan. I'm an AC. We find inexpensive and really fun things for the students to do wherever they are so that they can make the most out of their trip. We have announcements at 6.30 and then we have dinner at 7. After dinner we're given the option to go out so we'll sign out on our sign out sheet and then we'll sign back in when we come back. And then after that it's uh, curfew time and then to room checks after that. There's been so much to see on this trip that getting your schoolwork done can seem like a challenge at first. I'm usually told what to do by my mother, but here I have no mother, and so it's really taught me that I need to balance my work and play evenly. I guess it's prioritizing. You have to decide what's more important. Um, do you go to the beach that day or do you finish your English essay? You definitely have to focus your time and that's going to be like university. There's going to be distractions. It may not be the cloud for us, but there's going to be distractions. So I'm a traveling tutor. I'm available 24-7 to help the students with any of their studies. My job is to help them reach a higher level of academic excellence. I can see your teachers any time outside of class. Like uh, I ran into Mr. R in the hotel lobby and we were just talking a bit Shakespeare. At dinner, you can go up to them and just be like, oh hey, I have a question about my essay. Is it okay if I do this? Is it okay if I do that? Okay. I'm going to do it right after dinner. Sure, no problem. It's more personal with my teacher. Like, I feel comfortable calling him by his first name. All the staff here are really great. And to be honest, I feel completely comfortable talking to them like, like they're one of my friends. Well, I kind of asked Amy if she could uh -huh. try something new and like do an interview instead. I like your ideas and always something new is welcome, something new and exciting. Blythe definitely chose the coolest people to be the staff. My teachers are really cool. They're with the program. They, they understand me. They understand my friends and what we're going through on this trip, how we're alone, and then we're all trying to get together and make friends on it, and they've led us through the entire trip. Oh. Woo! Every Blythe trip, there's an option for you to go participate and do community service. It's a great way to help out the locals and the city, but you also get to contribute those hours to the required hours that you have for high school back at home. I think it's important to give back as many experiences as we've been able to take from this trip. 
It's my first time being away from home, so it's my first chance to kind of be somewhat independent. I think I might be a bit more mature because now I do more things on my own than I would at home. I'm so prepared for what's ahead of me in life and I thank Blythe for that because really like I don't know what I would have done when I'm off to university. I've had the best time on this trip. It's been honestly it's been a whirlwind of emotions. I've I've never experienced something so extraordinary in my life. I don't know living in southern Ontario uh, I thought it was cool but uh, <laughs> nothing will ever be the same as, as going out and every, every inch of New Zealand, every inch of Australia is, is 10 times better than at home. It's kind of a unique experience in terms of getting to know, uh, well, other countries, cultures, and yourself. Being with friends and not being with your parents, <laughs> it's actually been the best experience ever. I feel like the luckiest person in the world. I don't want to go home. It's life-changing. It is really life-changing. Absolutely the best summer school I've ever been to, no doubt. I don't want to leave, and I don't want it to end.